Third grade visited Plymouth Plantation as part of our social studies unit about the Harvest Feast of 1621. At the heart of our investigation are three essential questions. How do historians figure out what happened long ago? How did the Pilgrims and Wampanoags get along in the early 1600s? How is the modern Thanksgiving different than the Harvest Feast of 1621? Over 1,300 students visited Plymouth the day we were there, so we were fortunate to have booked a guided tour in advance. Our guide, Hillary, focused our attention on things that would help us uncover answers. First, we visited the Wampanoag home site on the banks of the Eel River. There we met modern-day Wampanoags who shared their understanding of their nation's history as well as their current perspectives. We learned about Habamock, a Wampanoag warrior who served as a translator and diplomat to the English settlers. We practiced being thoughtful about different cultures when we saw things that were different from what we experience in our own daily lives. We went into several structures at the Wampanoag home site and learned how Wampanoags used materials from their environment to meet their basic needs. While sitting on animal hides and furs in a Witu, we learned that women and men have different roles in this culture. Women are the givers of life. Men are the takers. As a result, women are in charge of gardening and preparing food, while men are in charge of hunting and fishing. Men are warriors, but must have permission from women before going to war. Then we visited the meeting house at the top of the English village. Looking out from the second floor, it was easy to see why the pilgrims had chosen such a site. They had flat land for farming, a freshwater spring, and a hill from which they could see ships in the harbor, as well as strangers approaching their village. The living history actors in the English village were pretending they were preparing for another winter in the New World, having just completed the harvest. They spoke to us in the English dialect that would have been used in 1624. We asked the actors about their relationship with Habamak, about the roles of men and women, and about the militia and other means of protection. The third graders asked many questions, and they examined many artifacts. Many of them said they would like to return to Plymouth Plantation and learn even more about this important period in history.